podcasting by professionals, teaches you to become the expert host of your own show and podcast for profit. Join us. We're reaching millions. Welcome to Podcast for Profit. I'm Teresa Marone, the Learn To Queen, and our show is presented by podcastingbyprofessionals.com. If you want to podcast for profit, then you're in the right place. Our show covers topics like content marketing, collaborations, marketing through social media and affiliate sales, and you'll get the -the up-to-the-minute industry news on syndication and distribution from podcast.place. The team at Podcasting by Professionals has a great show for you today. Are you a podcaster? Spreaker.com gives you the tools to create and distribute your show. Using Spreaker is easy. Use the mobile and web apps to record and listen to your stories. Connect with social networks and automatically share content. Get advanced analytics to track your progress. At Spreaker.com, you can stream your podcasts, set up a multi-show network, organize interviews, broadcast from live events, listen and interact live with your audience, and much more. All of this is always available at the best audio quality from the comfort of your own home. Find more materials at Spreaker.com forward slash press. That's Spreaker.com forward slash press. Spreaker.com, the tools to create and distribute your show. Spreaker, a proud sponsor of podcastingbyprofessionals.com. If your mission is to make a difference, then our show today will inspire you. Podcasting reaches people faster and with more impact than any other medium. Today we hear stories of success, why podcasting works, and what results have been realized, both in the lives of the hosts and in the lives of the listeners. First up, Martha Sanchez shares her story and how women's empowerment and business skills became her mission in the marketing jungle. Then, Kimberly Rinaldi, creator of the Joyful Living Radio Network, is reaching millions. Get a snapshot into her spectacular journey to reaching one million listeners per month. And if you still have doubts about the power of podcasting, then I'll give you the top 10 reasons not to start a podcast of your own in Learn To. Then stay tuned for Red Hot Right Now Insider News from the exploding podcast industry with Keith Rupnick of Podcast.Place. Oh, I hear those jungle drums, and that tells me it's time to enter the marketing jungle with your host, Martha Sanchez. It's a jungle out there. And welcome to the Marketing Jungle with me, Martha A. Sanchez, the Google Queen, where every show I bring you marketing tips that will engage your target audience and generate leads. I have recently been asked by many people to share how I decided to start my podcast. And in this Marketing Jungle, I'm going to walk you through my journey and what drove me to make the decision to start my own radio show. I had been in corporate America for over 30 years, and I reached a point where the goals of the company I worked for were no longer in alignment with my personal goals. This is when I decided to open my own business. One of the first things I decided was to do a radio show to start getting my message out right away. At this point, I looked at the options that were available, such as terrestrial radio, also known as AM FM radio, or internet radio, also known as audio on demand. I opted for audio on demand. Among the variety of options available for audio on demand, I decided to go for the done for you service or an internet radio station. This offered me high quality sound and marketing through the radio station itself. Yes, it was more expensive, but it was important to me to establish myself as a professional from the very beginning by having quality sound and a professionally produced podcast. There was really nothing out there available to orient me, so I did my homework and spoke with successful entrepreneurs to get their insights on such key items as what microphone was best, how to prepare guests for interviews, how to better reach my target audience, and how to find guests for my show. 
During the research phase, there were several decisions that needed to be made, such as choosing a name for the show, a tagline, and the focus and format for the show. I knew it was not perfect, but I moved forward with my decisions and jumped right in. The greatest thing about my experience was that it led me to begin and reach my target audience faster than any other way from the comfort of my own home. And this was important because I was homebound at that time with an injury. As a result, my marketing plan was also heavily based on a social media marketing strategy. I went from zero to 8,000 monthly listeners over the course of a year. And that was just strictly through social media marketing. It also allowed me to analyze what my listeners wanted and what I realized was that I needed to narrow my focus further. As a result, I rebranded and changed the name of the show to the Mommy to Mogul Radio Show. The common question I get asked at this point is, weren't you afraid to lose listeners? And my response is no, because I had a well-thought-out marketing plan that I knew would work to bring the right listeners back and reach new listeners that would translate into potential prospects. After all, this is the reason I started my show, to get my message out to my target audience and grow my business, right? And that's what we all want. At this point, my marketing plan did require some changes. However, the responsive system that I had established was successful and would remain at the core of both the general marketing plan and my social media plan. Within four months of the launch of my new show, I was back to 8,000 monthly listeners. And within one year, I reached 12,000 monthly listeners. Now, Less than two years later, I'm at 200,000 annual listeners and all of this was done through a targeted marketing plan that I discuss in Podcasting for Beginners as well as in my social media program. The results of having my own radio show have also been extremely beneficial to my business by showcasing my expertise, driving more traffic to my website, generating leads, and building my list. All of this was done faster by reaching larger audiences both nationally and internationally. Yes, I said internationally. I could not have done this through terrestrial radio. Now, the takeaway from my story is that having a successful podcast requires a couple of things. Research and preparation before you start your show. You also have to have a responsive and flexible marketing plan. Third, the evaluation of your show and your marketing plan on an ongoing basis. And most importantly, you have to take action. A plan is just a document until it is executed. And that's when the magic happens. So I encourage you to take action today and take your business to the next level by starting your marketing plan. This is Martha A. Sanchez, marketing expert for podcasting by professionals, signing off. This is Podcast for Profit. Up next, Martha Sanchez talks with Kimberly Rinaldi, creator of Lessons in Joyful Living. She is an action taker who has successfully developed many businesses and after creating a highly successful private coaching practice, she now teaches lessons in joyful living through her daily radio show on the Lessons in Joyful Living radio network. With millions of monthly listeners, Kimberly, her guests, and her team of hosts are touching and empowering others. For these reasons, Kimberly launched Lessons in Joyful Living as a radio network in August of 2014, partnering with her hosts on other networks to bring their voice, vision, gifts, and lessons to others. As she states, finding your lessons in joyful living is only half of the equation. Sharing it with others is truly why you're here. Let me welcome Kimberly Rinaldi. Thank you for having me today, Martha. It is an absolute pleasure. What you've done is so amazing, and with the speed that you've done it is incredible. <laughs> really, what drove you to create the station? And more importantly, why would an entrepreneur and business owner like yourself want to do internet radio? Because a lot of people think, oh, God, I'm so busy, I'm so busy, why would I want to do that? Honestly, it I, I had been very successful for a long time, and I had been teaching and lecturing and doing events, doing retreats, and I still do all of those. 
And for a good number of years, two or three, um, frankly, I had a handful of reality TV producers approach me and ask if I was interested in doing what I do on that format. And, you know, I do my due diligence before I do anything. And I understand that uh, 60 to 120 hours of footage gets edited down to a one-hour quote, you know, air quote, reality television program. Unless you're a big name, you don't have control. And ultimately, that product is you. And the fact that I had that handful of producers approach me, I knew I needed to be in a bigger venue. But that I knew was not the venue for me because of that lack of control. So I did, again, my due diligence and started looking at different options. And radio is a very affordable market in certain circumstances. Then I found the value of Internet radio. And frankly, you know, I I say it in my, my marketing with traditional radio, satellite radio, once it's run, it's done. With Internet radio, once it's run, it's kind of just begun if you know what you're doing. And uh, somewhere around the 17-month mark from launching that one-day-a-week program, we launched a radio network. And just shy of my two-year anniversary of being on air, we hit a million downloads a month, and that was December of 2014. And it has been just an amazing ride, and I love this format. And frankly, I'll be honest, I'm sitting here in bunny slippers right now, working from my home. And we're impacting millions of people today. And the reach, it's not just nationally, but it's internationally. And that, to me, is so amazing, isn't it? Finding the lessons and finding the information is only half of it. But being able to share it with others, that's what it's truly all about. And sharing it one person at a time is such a waste now when we have this modality that is so easy to use. Absolutely. And and I'll tell you, shortly before I went from that one day a week to five day a week platform, it was um, it was about six months in and I'll never forget I was doing because I do um, new consults about every other week where I'll take a handful of people who are interested in working with me and I'll I'll go through the process of, you know, is this somebody that that I can make a difference with? And I had five new consults that week and four of those five people in tears over the course of that week. And of course, when I was relaying it to my husband, I wasn't just choked up. I was actually, I was sitting at dinner. He's like, are you okay? I was sobbing. Four of those five people who I had never heard from before were based, you know, two of them in the U.S., one in the U.K., one in Australia. Four of those five people communicated to me that I had already made a major difference in their lives and I had never met them. I had never spoken to them. They had never purchased anything from me. They had just listened to the show. They had listened to something that a guest had provided or that I had provided, and I still, I, you can hear I get, a little, I get a little emotional on this. We're able to affect change and make a difference in people's lives, people that we will never, ever know, and that is the ripple effect that this platform has. And it's, it's beautiful. You're so right about that. Yeah, I started my own show because I had worked with homeless women and seeing how disenfranchised and powerless they felt and that they didn't have anything that was a value that they could make a business out of. And I said to myself, we've got to stop this cycle. We have to. And that's why I really started my show, because I wanted to start that platform to give business building topics to women like these who can listen to this and learn from the very beginning, know that they had something they could do. They didn't have to stay in an abusive relationship. They didn't have to worry uh, if their spouse got sick, that they would go on and be homeless, uh, um, or if they died, God forbid, or if their marriage didn't work out and they got divorced, any of those things, that they could make it on their own. And that, to me, is the power of internet radio. That's the power. It is. It is. It's, it's, such, it's such an accessible venue. It's free to the listeners. And again, that we're, we're in a 24-7, and, and on my show today, we were talking about this global economy, this global market. We're in a 24-7 operational economy at this point where you can touch lives across the known universe and, and someday beyond that. Um, it is, it's a powerful place to be and to be able to share those gifts freely and willingly. You know, again, women like yourself, women like me, women in this position who are sharing this information so freely and openly, it is the other half of the equation and that's why it means so much to me. Imagine having a success story of your own. 
Whether you want to start your own podcast or re-energize your current one, the Podcasting by Professionals newsletter has what you need to be successful and on the cutting edge of the podcasting wave. So take advantage of this marketing opportunity of a lifetime and start getting your message out to millions by engaging new audiences in the fastest way possible through a podcast. So visit podcastingbyprofessionals.com and sign up for our newsletter today. That's podcastingbyprofessionals.com. Hi there, I'm Teresa Marone and I'm the Learn To Queen. Join me and my guest expert collaboration partners for an inside look at the problem-solving industry. We want to help you so that you can help others. Professional podcasts have several benefits that make them one of the most popular content marketing options in the business world today. With the opportunity to cut costs, make information personal, and deliver on-demand technology to your followers, well, there isn't a more cost-effective way to develop your loyal audience. The difficulty comes with how challenging running a successful podcast can be. I mean, how often are you supposed to do your show? And how can you develop content week after week? And can you really market your podcast to develop listeners I understand that you have numerous questions to ask, and I want to do my very best to answer everything you could think of before you start your podcast. But truthfully, these are all questions that can be answered with products and services from resources like this show, Podcast for Profit. And at podcastingbyprofessionals.com, we offer many resources at absolutely no charge. So you'll find your way. I want you to focus on this. One of the true joys of starting a podcast is that in the end, you're using your own voice to share your message. My goal as a content marketer is always to draw out your unique voice and make it easy for you to describe and portray your business to your audience. From there, a solid foundation, a good format, and a consistent marketing system will allow you to continue to utilize your individual personality and your brand to build on this initial creation. The end result? Well, it's going to be something that you and your followers will surely enjoy. But if you're still not convinced, then as promised, here are the top 10 reasons not to start a podcast. Number one, I'm busy and it sounds hard. Well, it's not so much hard, but it is new, so you'll learn. And that's one of the bonuses. Number two, there's already too many podcasts out there. Yes, there's plenty, but they're not yours. And if you're considering it, then I'm sure there's people that need your voice to be heard. Number three, I am not good with technical stuff and I am confused. You know, my heart used to pound with every show when I heard that countdown. Five, four, three, seriously. But think about it. Spreaker.com, our sponsor, just came out with a platform that broadcast from your phone. Do you really want to miss that? Number four, I'll do it later when I have more time. You know, you're not going to have more time later. And sooner is always better than later. Number five. Even if I did a podcast, who would listen? All right, let me tell you some truth moments here. Your podcast will require a dedicated marketing strategy. And this is how you grow your podcast, but also it's how you grow your business. So you have to do it anyway. Number six, I don't know how to promote a podcast. Well, I understand that, and that's why my recommendation is to join a community of podcasters who will cross-market with you and have you on their show, you can host them on your show, and you can grow your listeners together. This is what we support at podcastingbyprofessionals.com. Number seven, I'm not an expert or a celebrity. Well, being an expert and being a celebrity are two different things. But if you're listening to this show, I bet you are an expert, a coach, a speaker, an author, an entrepreneur. You can do this. Number eight, I have a local business and I don't care about reaching millions. Well, I used to feel that way too. 
And that might be a truth statement today. But with effective content marketing, that could change. And wouldn't that be a blessing? Number nine, I know I want to do this, but I don't know where to begin. I'll tell you, it starts with titles, taglines, and intros. And seriously, you need to eat that elephant one bite at a time. Number ten, this is my favorite. I spend summers on my yacht, and it doesn't have Wi-Fi. Really? Well, my cat ate my mouse, so I can't use my computer. But when I thought it over, I still did it. Don't you want to? Contact me, Teresa Marone, the Learn To Queen. I'm your content marketing mentor, and I want to help you so you can help others. 1.5 billion smartphones are waiting for content. Currently, 159 million Americans listen to online radio. Yes, podcasting is here to stay. However, podcasting is more than just sticking a microphone in front of you and talking. Our program, Podcasting for Beginners, will start you with all of the right moves to create a look, feel, and experience that your listeners will not soon forget. Create authority in your industry and connect with new customers with a professional podcast. Isn't that what you want? Join us at Podcasting by Professionals. Our five-hour program is an easy-to-follow, step-by-step instructional to help you avoid the mistakes that can keep you in a holding pattern for months, even years. Early bird pricing available now at podcastingbyprofessionals.com. Join us and get your name in the game. We're reaching millions. This is news from podcast.place, the web's place for podcast industry news. We have a new number one. The State versus Adnan Saeed ranks as the nation's most popular podcast. The podcast debuted at number two on Monday, April the 13th, and moved into the number one position on Tuesday, where it has ranked ever since. In addition to the United States, Undisclosed is charted in the United Kingdom, Germany, France, Canada, Spain, and Australia. The podcast delves further into the murder case behind the incredibly popular serial podcast. The National Association of Broadcasters have announced preliminary registration attendance of over 103,000 people at the 2015 NAB show in Las Vegas. The exhibition featured over 1,700 companies and housed the New Media Expo as well. Audio HQ has entered into an exclusive ad partnership with TuneIn. They'll act as their exclusive ad sales representative. And finally, the 10th Annual Podcast Awards were announced at the New Media Expo in Las Vegas. Chris Jericho and Emily Morris hosted. The winners include, for People's Choice, Rob Has a Podcast. Entertainment, Rob Has a Podcast. For Best Produced, Radio Lab. Freakonomics won Best Business Podcast. In the comedy area, The Morning Stream was a winner. Cultural and Arts went to This American Life. Education, Hardcore History was the winner. Dr. Drew picked up one for Health and Fitness. In the Movies and Films category, the winner was Film Sack. And for Sports, ESPN Fantasy Focus Football. For a full listing of all the winners, visit podcast.place. For more podcast industry news updated daily, visit podcast.place, a website devoted exclusively to on-air hosts and producers working in the podcast industry. Brought to you by podcastingbyprofessionals.com. And that's what's happening in the podcast industry from podcast.place. Join us next week on Podcast for Profit when our special guest is Tanya Hoffman, CEO of the Public Speakers Association. Become an expert host of your own show and Podcast for Profit with podcastingbyprofessionals.com. Join us. We're reaching millions.